Hi everyone, it's Tara from the Thirsty Thrifters. I'm going to do a quick video on what sold on Poshmark from May 20th through 26th. I am, if you're not aware, a part-time reseller on Poshmark almost entirely, a little bit on eBay, a little bit on Mercari. My closet name is Tara Stutes, all one word. So you can go check out what I have for sales and see my sold listings, things like that, get more details. But I will give you a lot of details myself. I try to go through how much I paid for each item, how long it was listed for sale, and if I would sell it again. I had only 18 items for sale this week. I was not concentrating on reselling. I was busy with my full-time job. You'll see that coming up in the next three videos, three weeks in a row. I was busy with my regular job and didn't do much reselling stuff, and it showed. Uh, my sales were less, but it's all right. I had other things to do. So let's switch to the screen share so you can see all of my items. So first we have, starting on May 20th, Sam Edelman Rosa Beaded Platform Wedge Sandals. These were listed in January. I got these at a Goodwill down in Brown County, Indiana, uh, and they sold for $18. I had them listed for 25 or 30 I believe so it took a little while to sell but I figured they would sell they were a nice style I would buy those again I think I paid three dollars for them next up is a J Crew sequined tank top so this is J Crew collection I listed this in February so it took three months to sell but J Crew collection if you see that tag it is a higher end a higher line of J. Crew. Why don't I have a close up of the tag? <laughs> I know I used to have one. It was a sample. You can see kind of faintly it says sample. And there's the tag. I don't know why I don't have a close up. But pink, orange stripe. Thought it was cute. I thought it would sell for more than this. But I paid $2 for it and it sold for $15. And you're going to hear my cat whining. Unless she goes away. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's very needy right now. Harley Davidson tank top. This was listed in April. So this was in a donation from one of Dave's friends when the pandemic was in full swing and we couldn't thrift. And I ran out of items to list. I listed a lot of Harley Davidson stuff from her. It was a size large tank top. I thought it would sell a little faster and maybe for a little more. But for something that was free to me, I will take it. If you can find Harley Davidson items maybe at the bins, I would buy them to sell, but I wouldn't pay much for them. They are not selling for much unless it's something special like boots or leather jacket or something. Night Night by Monkey Monkey Gnomes Onesie. This was listed in April, and I actually was going to not list it until Christmas time because you can see that the gnomes are Christmas gnomes. And then I ran out of things to sell and I figured I'd list it. And it actually sold fairly quickly, like in a month, for $16. I think I paid $1 or $2 for it because all the pajamas at my Goodwill are $1.99. Next is a Bowdoin dress. I buy all Bowdoin dresses I find as long as they're not too expensive. This was listed in May, so it wasn't listed for very long. It was hard to describe what this print was. You can see it. Why is it? There we go. Some kind of leaf or plant or something. And the, the color was hard to describe, like taupe. I, I don't know. but And I couldn't find a stock photo either, <laughs> I don't think. Not in this print. So still sold pretty quickly for $25. So I was happy with that. Bowden print spell is spell sell especially well for me next is lucy pants these were kind of a surprise because i was not quite sure how they would do so these are indigo high-rise faux denim pants so they kind of look like a dark wash denim but they were just a really soft pair of like sweatpants basically and they were a size small, so that was another thing that might have taken them a while to sell. But I actually sold them 
like in a week maybe. And I had them listed for 40 and they sold for 30. Lucy pants, I really like selling. They always sell fairly fast for me. I would buy those again. I paid $4 for them. Mini Bowden, this was listed in March. And I believe I got it at the outlet, so I didn't pay too much for it. I had it listed for $20. I relisted it once. I think somebody finally accepted and offered a liker for $16. I do like mini Bowden pieces. It's just because they're kids' things, they're not going to sell for, you know, a lot. Not more than $20, $25 at the absolute most. I was lucky to get $16 out of these. But I would buy them again at the outlet or like a rummage sale, things like that. What is next? Mountain Hardware. These I had listed for a long time. I listed them in January, so that means they took about four months to sell. They were men's. Uh, I paid full price for them at a Goodwill in Greenfield, Indiana, so they cost me about $4. And I had several low offers on these, like $15, $20, and I had them listed for $40. I think I finally was ready to sell them, and I accepted a $25 offer. Excuse me, drink break. I would buy those again. I've had mixed luck with Mountain Hardware. I don't know if it's just not as popular anymore. I'm not sure. It's a hiking line of clothing, if you're not aware. Lululemon, these were listed a while. Wide leg capri crop workout yoga pants. I don't remember if these were mine or I just sold them immediately. I can't remember. Uh, but wide leg capri yoga pants are kind of an older style for Lululemon. But there are people that will wear them and like them better than other kinds. For instance, me. I cannot wear capri or crop length Lululemon that is tight at the calves because I have monstrous calves. Not that I try to have monstrous calves. I just do. Uh, okay, so these were listed for like six months, seven months. And finally sold for $24. They were listed for $30. They were listed on eBay and Mercari, but finally sold here. I would buy them again if they were cheap enough because I know they will sell eventually. They're just, uh, uh, you're going to be waiting for a little while. This is a Madewell dress, eyelet dress, listed in March, so sold in two months. I got this at a local consignment shop, and it was marked down uh, to $2.00. And this was my last hurrah of buying things before everything shut down. Size 10, nice or orange color, and perfect for summer. So I'm glad somebody finally accepted an offer, $23. I would buy that again, especially for $2. Cynthia Rowley turquoise blue racerback dress. No, this one was not mine. There was one Cynthia Rally that was mine, but it wasn't this one. I think I got this at Dollar Day at my Goodwill. And I was going to try sending it to ThreadUp if it didn't sell. But I got a $15 offer and figured I'd take my $12 profit now. I don't know that I'd buy it again. It's not something extremely special. Just a racerback dress. I, I don't know. I might if I were desperate enough. I'm not sure. It didn't take too long, a couple months. J. Crew Brooklyn pullover sweatshirt. I have found that J. Crew sweatshirts that have something on the front or a pattern actually sell really well and are very popular. They will get a lot of likes. So this one was at my local Goodwill and I paid the full price of $4 for it. The Brooklyn was like thick embroidery. It was really nice quality. Actually, this is lower than I thought I would take, but it sold really fast, like in an, under a week. So I made a, a profit. I'll take that. And I would buy it again. Victoria's Secret. This was uh, something my mom gave me. It sold, I think, in a day. Maybe not even a full day. My mom gave this to me. It's country cotton nightgown. Here's the tag. Country quality cottons that you can see the size. So I had to measure everything. And it did have color transfer, I found, after I was taking pictures. And it was very hard to see it in the pictures. I tried to show it. But I did mention it also. And this lady 
sent me an offer right away for $23 and I accepted. So country cotton from Victoria's Secret may be something to keep your eye. Um, lost my train of thought. <laughs> keep an eye out for. And this was something I almost removed, or I thought I had removed from Poshmark. This was something I got for Dave at a thrift store, paid $2 for it like two years ago, and then listed it during the pandemic when I couldn't buy anything else. So it's an IZOD thick navy blue robe. I marked it down to 10 bucks, and then thought I had deleted it to put in our yard sale, and then I got a notification that somebody bought it. I don't think I'd buy it again to resell, but I'm glad it sold. I made more selling it on Poshmark than I would at our rummage sale. This is something my mom gave me to sell. I listed it in December. That's when I listed all the swimmer swimwear I had, thinking that people going on spring break would need swimsuits, and then nobody could go on spring break, but I sold it in May. So just a strange pattern Speedo, but I do really well selling Speedo, $15, $20 every time. So if you're finding these at the outlet, yeah, I would definitely buy Speedos if they're in really good shape, especially larger sizes. Two more. Dance goes. This was a good, good sale. I'm trying to remember where I bought them. I think they were at my local Goodwill or one around me. I bought them after everything started reopening. They were in pretty much excellent condition. I hardly ever find dance goes in this good of condition. So I think I had them listed at 40 and it was a full price sale and I believe they sold in just a few hours. Those nurses are working hard and they need to replace their dance goes apparently. I would buy those again, definitely. And then the last sale is a bundle. And let's see. The first is an altered state dress that I know I got at the outlet, like my last trip to the outlet, size small, cute lace up in the back. Altered state is a hit and miss brand, I would say. Um, they're not going to sell for a lot, and some of them do not sell at all. And then these were Lucky Brand Lanzer Wedge Gladiator Sandals. Those were also from the outlet, but I don't remember when. It may have been our last trip. They had some wear on the toes, which I took close-up pictures of. It's still not, not bad shape. And those two items, I need to go back, sold for $30. And I would definitely buy both of those again at the outlet. So that is everything that sold in that week period. And I'm about to record two more videos about what sold the following weeks because I'm a little bit behind but total of 18 items sold not bad for not sharing my closet nearly as much not listing as many items as I normally do but I'm trying to get back in the swing of things I'm used to not doing much work a day and so now doing two jobs kind of is is I'm not in that habit yet I'm getting there so thanks for watching please stay tuned Two more videos coming up, hopefully like one every couple days so we can get caught up. See you later.